Okay, this question, so number 37, is a, just a really interesting way to make these calculations conceptual. So we have a box here. It, it doesn't say the word 10 dots, it actually has 10 dots in it to represent like molecules, for example. And then it goes A, B, C, D, and says if this is molarity M of acetic acid, if we double the molarity, which one of these would represent that doubling of molarity? And I think the dots representing the concentration. Okay? Uh, the concentration of H3O plus. So you double this, what happens to the concentration of H3O plus? Does it double? It's basically the question. Uh, so here's how I would set this up. Let's write out your acid, HC2. You want to know an equilibrium concentration? It has to be the ice table because this is a weak acid. So weak acid or weak base again. If you need an equilibrium concentration, in this case, this concentration, uh, you've got to use ice. There's just no way around it. your standard acid equation. Just like always, you add water, you get the conjugate base plus the H3O plus. Ice. Okay, ignore the water. Don't need that one. The initial concentration is M. So this is 0 and 0. Has to go to the right, minus X plus X plus X. So this is M minus X, X, and X. Oh, you've also got to look up the, this has a certain Ka. We'll worry about it in a second. Okay. So then Ka is equal to X squared over M minus X. Okay, the products over the reactants. What are we going to assume about X? really tiny. So I'm just going to erase that x right there. <laughs> You're good. I would rewrite it if I had more space. Okay, now I'll get a different color pen uh, and kind of slash, not m, but 2m. So the second scenario, if you double the molarity, it's still an ice table, but what happens? Well, really, in this second scenario, you just put a 2 right here. That's the only difference. So, the second scenario, Ka is equal to x squared over 2m. Is that okay? That's the only difference. You're doubling the molarity, so you put a 2 here. So now, see the difference? Okay, I will solve the one on the right, on the right-hand side, and the one on the left, on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, this becomes x equals the square root of k times m. Is that okay? Or ka specifically. On this end, this side, x is equal to the square root of 2 ka m. So okay, I just solve for x. So the difference is, there's a square root of 2 here. What is the square root of 2? 1 point. Somebody's got to find it. Square root of 2. I need that value. Otherwise, I can't solve the problem. 1.41? It's good enough for us. 1.4. Okay, so do you see how this one is 1.4 times bigger than this one? Because it's square root of 2 times bigger. So 1.4 times bigger. Okay, that's the key part. Are you okay with that? Okay. So what's 1.4 times bigger than 10? Well, 10 times 1.4 is 14. Is that okay? Can you say that again? Sure. Is it okay that this is 1.4 times bigger than this? 
because this is square root of km. Okay. This is square root of 2 times the square root of km. Mm -hmm. So square root of 2, you told me it's 1.4. Yeah. This is 1.4 times bigger than that one. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you double the molarity? You get 1.4 times bigger than this concentration, which is 10 times 1.4, or 14. Another way to say it, if you double the equilibrium concentration, it does not double, you don't get 20, I mean, does not double this. So if this molarity is doubled, this does not necessarily double. It increases by the square root of that factor. So if this was four times bigger, it would be doubled, because you take the square root of four. Is that okay? So they really wanted you to set up two scenarios in an ice table and compare the answers to that. So that when you have M here for 14 dots, here you have 1.4 times the original. So it's 1.4 times bigger, or 10 times 1.4 is 14. Okay?